And in other news this afternoon, once rain starts to fall, flash flooding is possible on the burn scar left by the Davis fire. News for Sophie Lincoln joins us now live from Mount Rose where the fire took place. And Sophie, I understand you spoke to a hydrologist about the possible flooding. And what do they have to say to you? Yeah, Andrea, I'm standing in one of the areas where the Davis fire did pass through. You can probably see all the burnt blackened soil around me. Now, after a fire burns, it typically burns off the top layer and what it creates is this water repellent layer on top of the soil and uh, rather than absorbing the rain at that point it will slide down so on a downhill surface like this one that can lead to flash flooding and debris flows now for homes that are downstream of a burned area this raises a big concern as we head into the winter season hydrologist with the national weather service tim bardsley tells me these types of events are very fast once they happen and that's why he's working today. We actually just saw him out there uh, to look for a spot to install a mobile weather station on the burn scar of the Davis fire in order to get the most accurate data as fast as possible. They can be triggered on very short duration but high intensity events. So having a, a measurement station that's within the fire near the areas that we're most concerned about is really important to uh, help us warn for those events, but also to validate the thresholds we'll be setting. And we'll hear from some of the residents who live around the burn scarred here if they're concerned at all about the winter season and any flash flooding it may bring. We'll hear about that coming up here on News 4 at 6 live at Mount Rose. Sophie Lincoln, News 4. All right, thank you so much, Sophie. Appreciate your report there.